Hi, this is Dr. Dramon, and through the Oral Health Channel, we're going to be talking about sialadenosis today. Let's start. So I got a comment in one of my comment section about sialadenosis. So one of my viewers wanted to actually know what sialadenosis is all about. They did not mention what the problem was or what they were going through. But I feel it is my social responsibility and obligation to make sure that whatever my viewers want to know, I can enlighten you to the best of my abilities. So let's talk about sialadenosis. Sialadenosis, if you break it down, siala means salivary, right? And adenosis means the enlargement of the gland. So sialadenosis is usually a non-inflammatory swelling of the glands, salivary glands, such as parotid gland that you have here. Now, if this was painful, it would have been sialadenitis and that has different causes and that will be the purview of another episode. But sialadenosis is usually a non-inflammatory, painless swelling, which is symmetrical and bilateral. Now, if I have to elaborate on that, that means you will get a swelling here, which is not non-tender. That means it's not going to be painful. At the same time, it's going to be bilateral. That means it's going to be present on both sides and it is going to be symmetrical. Coming to the causes, it's very important. Uh, first of all, it becomes a cosmetic problem for a lot of people because of the fact that they will have this kind of a problem and it could also be associated with dry mouth. Now, the causes are many, it's plentiful, but usually the direct cause is around the neuropathy of the nerve that is supplying the parotid gland. Now, let me explain you in simple terms what neuropathy means. If I have to move my hand from here to here, there is always a coordination from my brain through my nerves and my motor nerve is making sure this happens, right? The nerves are three types, sensory, motor and mixed. We all know that. And that's why when we have a motor nerve, it doesn't mean that motor nerve has to do some, has to have something to do with just the fa fact that you have to move your limbs. It also has to do with the fact that your organs are working. Your glands are secreting whatever secretions that they need to produce. So when you have a neuropathy kind of a condition, that means there is an alteration or a dysregulation of the nervous function of the nerve that supplies the gland, in particular parotid gland for sialadenosis, you have to understand that's where the secretions don't work and in response to that, this salivary gland cells, that is the ACNR cells, they increase in size. Now when you see about the microscopy about it, usually 30 to 40 microns is the diameter of each cell. However, when you see uh, a biopsy of a sialadenosis patient, you get to see it goes to 60 to 70 microns and there is ductal atrophy. Atrophy means it is the thinning down or the reduction in the size of an organ or an organ system or any particular structure. So ductal atrophy means that the, gl the gland duct, right, the size decreases. Now coming to the clinical features, as I've already mentioned, it becomes more of a, you know, a dry mouth kind of a problem. At the same time, it becomes a cosmetic emergency or a cosmetic concern for the patient as it presents as a swelling. Thankfully, this, patient, this swelling is not painful because it is non-inflammatory, but at the same time, let's talk about the causes. Now, the causes can be plenty and there are usually underlying causes, especially around the metabolic disorders, such as if you are obese, if you have diabetes mellitus, if you have a hypothyroidism patient, uh, any sort of vitamin deficiencies also causes it. Autoimmune disorders such as Sjogren's syndrome, that causes uh, sialadenosis and some habits and lifestyles as well. If you are a chronic alcoholic having alcoholic liver disease, it is possible that you might get sialadenosis. Now coming to the treatment, let me tell you something very honestly, the treatment lies with identifying the cause. How do you identify the cause? It's very simple. First of all, we do a medical examination and a full history taking is done. At the same time, you can go for a sialography. That is a test to make sure we check how the salivary glands are functioning. At the same time, you can do an FNAC, that's a fine needle aspiration cytology that will give us a, an, a brief idea about what needs to be done. The most diagnostic test is an actual biopsy of the gland where you can take a part of the gland, observe it under the microscope, under, you know, uh, you know, under the HIV sections and find out what is the diameter. If the diameter of the ACNR cells uh, is more than what it is usually and at the same time, you can see that the ductal uh, atrophy has taken place. This is all the purview of a pathologist. But if you do find these findings, we can obviously uh, attribute it to the diagnosis. Now coming to the treatment, as I've already talked about, the main treatment uh, modality lies with identifying the cause and supplementing the treatment towards treating the cause. That's very important. 
uh, if it's any sort of lifestyle modification such as uh, you know uh, cutting cutting down on the alcohol intake at the same time making sure that you are you know supplemented by vitamins and all those things uh, metabolic disorders such as diabetes need to be taken care of and uh, if at all there is a sort of uh, you know uh, an oncological cause for it you have to get that treated as well so this was today's episode please like share and subscribe and please make sure that you follow me on my social media handles if you want me to update you with more uh, you know episodes about whatever you want to know please write in the comment section at the same time if you want to contact me regarding any sort of queries apprehensions or any sort of consultation feel free to contact me on whatsapp however i would request you humbly to not directly call me as i might be with patients or might be busy otherwise but you can drop me a message and I can get back to you in some time. So please like, share and subscribe. Have a nice day.